I think the most difficult part of this question is uh, rephrasing the free info. They, they told us that n is a positive integer and k is 5.1 times 10 to the power of that positive integer, that n. What does that tell me? Well, n is at least 1, that's the smallest positive integer, and if n were 1, then k would be 51. If n is 2, k would be 510. If n is 3, k would be 5100, and so on. So we know that k is also a positive integer, and we also know that it would start from left to right, it would start with the digits 5, 1, followed by some unknown number of zeros. And so really what this question is asking is, how many zeros do we have on the tail end of k, which we know for sure starts with the digits 5, 1? So is it just 51? Is it 510? Is it 5100? Etc. We, we don't know, but that's what we're trying to find out. Now statement 2 gives us the value of k squared. Now under normal circumstances I would say knowing the value of something squared is not enough to infer the value of the underlying number because we don't know which side of zero it came from. But remember in this case we inferred from the free info that k must be a positive integer. So in this case knowing the value of k squared is sufficient to answer the question and we can go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that it isn't. So answer choices A, C, E all gone. This is down to B or D. Now statement 1 gives us a range for K and generally a range is not enough to find the specific value within that range. However, remember in this case we know K isn't just any old positive integer, it's an integer that starts with the digits 5, 1, followed by some unknown number of zeros. From the range provided in statement 1, can we tell exactly how many zeros follow the digits 5 and 1? We can. There's only one number in that range that starts with 5, 1. So it turns out that statement 1 is also sufficient on its own, and the correct answer is D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.